good eat positioning on the center buddy the name is Wu Thang, and welcome back to another episode of the hunger game simulator last time we filled out our series tradition of getting the last place of the previous session to which cuddles got our, from our happy tree friends episode got his redemption this time around as suggested by andrew rock we are doing dreamworks protagonists so let's explain real quick where, I'm going to give an explanation as to where everyone's from and why they're paired up in the districts as he gave them to me. Shrek from the Shrek films and Grug from the Croods. They are paired together because they are two angry dads. Alex the Lion from Madagascar and Mr. Wolf from the Bad Guys. They are paired together because furries. Poe from Kung Fu Panda and Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. They are paired together because they are the Dragon Masters, Poe being the Dragon Warrior and Hiccup being the Dragon Rider. Moses. Oh, crap. I know that Sinbad's from The Adventures of Sinbad, but I don't know what the movie Moses is called is from. DreamWorks movie Moses' is protagonist. According the Prince of Egypt. Moses. That's what it is. So, Moses from The Prince of Egypt and Sinbad from The, Miss, the Adventures of Sinbad. They are there because popular 2D protagonist. Z from Ant Bully and Barry B. Benson from a B-movie are here because insect protagonist Miguel from The Road to El Dorado and Tulio from The Road to El Dorado are here because they are both from The Road to El Dorado. Ginger from Chicken Run and Spirit from Spirit. They are animals that are smarter than you may think. Oscar from Shark Tale and RJ from Over the Hedge. They are here because they are both lying animals. Wallace from Wallace and Gromit, and Megamind from Megamind. They are here because of their genius abilities. Susan Murphy from Monsters vs. Aliens and Principal Krupp, a.k.a. Captain Underpants from the Captain Underpants movies. They are both here because of their humans receiving extraordinary powers. Roddy St. James from Flushed Away and Mr. Peabody from Mr. Peabody and Sherman are here because they are both animals that are a lot smarter than, than you may first think. Skipper from Madagascar, and then the penguins in Madagascar, and Puss in Boots from Shrek to his own Puss in Boots series. They are paired together because they are both side characters that got their own spinoffs. Now, I have to be honest. Right away from the jump, when it comes to rooting for characters I'm rooting for, Hiccup was one of them. He is my favorite DreamWorks protagonist. And I've gotta be honest here, having a second pick was hard as hell to do. Because it's a three-way race between Shrek, Megamind... No, it's a four-way race between Shrek, Poe, Megamind, and Principal Krupp. I can't pick between these four. They're all so good and so cool to my childhood. Or important to it, not cool, but I'm going to look for a coin, and I'm going to do a coin flip tournament. All right. Uh, where is my box? There it is. Coin flip tournament. First up, we're doing Shrek versus Poe. Heads is Shrek, tails is Poe. Then they'll move on to round two. Tails, Poe moves on to round two. Next up, it's Captain Underpants versus Megamind. Heads is Megamind, Tails is Principal Krupp. It was Heads, so Megamind. Now it's Megamind versus Poe. Oh yeah, by the way, Heads is Poe, Tails is Megamind, and it was Tails, so Megamind is the second route for you know what? I actually should just use the basis that Megamind was blue because Blue Fang. But yeah, I'm rooting for Hiccup and Megamind this time around. Though if Poe, Principal Krupp, or Shrek win, I will not be disappointed. Let's proceed. As the tribute stand on the podium, the horn sounds. Z snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Oscar grabs a backpack and retreats. Poe po steps off his podium too soon and blows up. Well, hey, if I ever do revivable characters, again, Puss is up for grabs. Captain Underpants, Poe, and Megamind run away from the cornucopia. Mr. Wolf, Susan, and Alex get work together to get as many supplies as Fox possible. Barry runs away. Roddy clutch, clutches a first aid kit and runs away. 
Ginger and Skipper run away. Sinbad snatches a pair of sighs. Miguel and Tulio fight for a bag. Tulio gives up and retreats. Hiccup finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Shrek takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Moses runs away from the cornucopia. Grug takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Wallace runs away from the cornucopia. Mr. Peabody grabs a jar of fishing bait while RJ gets fishing gear. Spirit runs away from the cornucopia. Day one. Miguel injures himself. Mr. Peabody is pricked by thorns of picking berries. Alex sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Shrek explores the arena. Moses discovers a cave. Megamind steals from Grug while he isn't looking. Captain Underpants receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Roddy searches for a water source. Spirit collects fruit from a tree. Ginger camouflages herself in the bushes. RJ receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Wolf tends to Hiccup's wounds. Skipper and Poe split up to search for resources. Barry receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Sinbad, Wallace, Su Susan, and Tulio hunt for other tributes. Z runs away from Oscar. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance, and it's Puss from District 12. So with that being said in mind, we have 23 survivors still standing and no district completely out. Only one person left during the bloodbath. That's like the least amount of people dead. Alex tries to sing himself to sleep. Moses screams for help. Sinbad attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Mr. Wolf and Ginger talk about tribute still alive. Captain Underfans defeats Miguel in a fight, but spares his life. Oscar receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Skipper stays awake all night. Grug tries to treat his infection. Susan, Hiccup, and RJ discuss the games of what might happen in the morning. Tulio goes to sleep. Spirit sets up camp for the night. Barry and Poe sleep in shifts. Z quietly hums. Roddy attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Shrek loses sight of where he is. Mr. Peapotty tries to treat his infection. Wallace and Megamind tell each other stories about themselves to each other. Day 2. Hiccup d dies trying to escape the arena. Alright, go Megamind. Skipper forces Barry to kill Alex or Spirit. He decides to kill Alex. Susan hunts for other tributes. Tulio diverts Miguel's attention and runs away. Z questions his sanity. Roddy runs, runs away from Shrek. Oscar receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Wallace receives, receives, receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Did he get some cheese? Ginger begs for Captain Underpants to kill her. He refuses keeping Ginger alive. Megamind picks flowers. Mr. Peabody strangles RJ after engaging in a fist fight. Sinbad goes hunting. Poe receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Wolf hunts for other tributes. Moses discovers a cave. Grug travels to higher ground. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance this time. Hiccup from District 3, Alex from District 2, and RJ from District 8, meaning we are now down to the top 20 survivors, but still no district is taken out of play. It is such a damn shame that Hiccup is out, because Hiccup is objectively the best one here. But yeah. Poe climbs a tree to rest. Spirit quietly hums. Z climbs a tree to rest. Oscar is awoken by nightmares. Roddy overpowers Captain Underpants, killing him. Shrek and Moses talk about the tribute still alive. Grug shoots an arrow at Barry, but misses and kills Mr. Peabody instead. You know, that's actually very fair considering how small Barry is. Mr. Wolf, Susan, Sinbad, Tulio, and Skipper sleep in shifts. Ginger, Megamind, and Miguel sleep in shifts. Wallace questions his sanity. Day 3. Miguel constructs a, sh Miguel constructs a shack. Roddy also constructs a shack. Oscar practices his archery. Barry constructs a shack. Z... Tries to sleep with the entire day. Mr. Wolf, Sinbad, Moses, Grug, and Tulio hunt for other tributes. Ginger goes hunting. Poe searches for firewood. Shrek camouflages himself in the bushes. Sprint, Skipper, and Megamind get into a fight. Megamind triumphantly kills them both. Fuck yeah, Megamind. Let's go. Wallace receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Susan makes a wooden spear. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Captain Underpants from District 10, Mr. Peabody from District 11, Spirit from District 7, and Skipper from District 12. With all with this round being done, District 12 is completely out of play. And we are down to the top 16 survivors. Let's keep moving forward. I didn't mean to quote Disney, but here we go. <laughs> Funny you mention it. DreamWorks is just a company that was filled with a bunch of former Disney employees that just really hate them. Anyways, Poe tries to treat his infection. Oscar attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Sinbad, Wallace, Megamind, and Z sleep in shifts. Barry, Shrek, and Grug cheerfully sing songs together. Miguel loses sight of where he is. Tulio tries to sing himself to sleep. Ginger strangles Susan after engaging in a fist fight. Damn, Ginger, way to go! Roddy begs for Mr. Wolf to kill him. He refuses keeping Roddy alive. 
Moses dies from hypothermia. Day four, Ginger travels to higher ground. Miguel collects fruit from a tree. Shrek also collects fruit from a tree. Barry receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Roddy chases Mr. Wolf. Megamind discovers a river. Wallace scares Sinbad off. Z searches for a water source. Poe receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Oscar injures himself. Greg and Tulio hunt for other tributes. Arena event. The arena's borders begin to rapidly contract. Roddy trips on a tree root and is unable to recover fast enough. Z is trips on a tree root and is unable to recover fast enough. Mr. Wolf is electrocuted by the border. Shrek and Tulio survive. Oscar restrains Megamind a tree and leaves him to die. Fuck you, Oscar. No one likes you. Miguel and Sinbad survive. Ginger pushes Grug into the border while he is not paying attention. Wallace retains Barry to a tree branch and leaves him to die. Poe survives. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Susan from District 10, Moses from District 4, Roddy from District 11, Z from District 5, Mr. Wolf from District 2, Megamind from District 9, Grug from District 1, and Barry from District 5. That being said and done, Districts 2, 5, 10, 11, and 12 are completely out. We're down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 survivors left standing. Man, I really should have rooted for Poe or Shrek. Anyway. Tulio thinks about home. Miguel attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Wallace is awoken by nightmares. Poe tends to his wounds. Shrek and Oscar hold hands. Sinbad is awoken by nightmares. Ginger starts a fire. The cornucopia is a plunge of food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from tributes families. Poe, Ginger, Wallace, and Oscar track down and kill Miguel. Tulio decides not to go to the feast. Sinbad catches Shrek off guard and kills him. Man, I really should have rooted for Poe, but I felt like, oh yeah, rooting for the same district would be a bad idea. But it's so close. Although I think Hiccup is objectively the best, it's like a four-way four -way tie between Shrek, Poe, Megamind, or three-way tie for the best protagonist there, because Captain Underpants is Dave Pilkey. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're down to the top six survivors. Poe steals from Oscar while he isn't looking. Wiles collects root from a tree. Sin matches her for a water source. Tulio sprains his ankle, running away from Ginger. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Miguel from District 6 and Shrek from District 1. Districts 1, 5, 1, 2, 5, 10, 11, and 12 are completely out as we are down to our top six survivors. Man, I should have rooted for Poe. Ginger is awoken by nightmares. Oscar looks at the night sky. Sinbad fends Tulio, Wallace, and Poe away from his fire. Day 6. Sinbad receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Tulio and Oscar split up search resources. Ginger kills Wallace as he tries to run. Poe dies from hunger. Well, okay, it's nice knowing that no matter what the coin toss was, I wasn't going to win. Win. But somehow fucking Oscar is still here. We have Sinbad from The Adventures of Sinbad, who looks kind of cool. Tulio, who I've always appreciated the design of in The Road to El Dorado. Oscar from Shark Tale, No One Likes You. And Ginger. I remember watching Chicken Run as a Kid and thinking it was an underrated gem. Anyways, two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Wallace from District 9 and Poe from District 3. Districts 1, 2, 3, 5, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are completely out. As we are down to the top four survivors left standing, will we have a 3D or a 2D protagonist? Ginger fends Tulio, Oscar, and Sinbad away from her fire. Ginger poisons Sinbad's drink. He drinks it and dies. Ooh, Sinbad going down for the count by Ginger. And Oscar stalks Tulio. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance, and it's Sinbad from District 4. With that being said and done, Districts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are completely out, and we are down to our top three survivors. Tulio from The Road to El Dorado, Ginger from Chicken Run, or Oscar from Shark Tale. Someone fucking kill Oscar. Tulio thinks about home. Ginger tracks down and kills Oscar. Thank God, Ginger. MVP. MVP, Ginger. Let's go. Ginger kills Tulio with his own weapon. Yeah, well, okay. Tulio, I might like your design, but Ginger deserved that win. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Oscar from District 8 and Tulio from District 6. Meaning the winner is Ginger from District 7. So... That will almost conclude it for this episode, but let's first review the placements. In 24th, Puss in Boots. In 23rd, The Objective Best, Hiccup. 
In 22nd, Alex the Lion. In 21st, RJ. In 20th, Principal Krupp, a.k.a. Captain Underpants. In 19th, with one kill, Mr. Peabody. In 18th, Spirit. In 17th, Skipper. In 16th, Susan Murphy. In 15th, Moses. In 14th, with one kill, Roddy St. James. In 13th, Z. In 12th, Mr. Wolf. In 11th, with two kills, Megamind. In 10th, with one kill, Grug. In 9th, with one kill, Barry B. Benson. In 8th, with in 8th, Miguel. In 7th, Shrek. In 6th, with two kills, Wallace. In 5th, with one kill, Poe. In 4th, with one kill, Sinbad. In 3rd, with two kills, Oscar. In 2nd, Tulio. And the winner, with 7 kills to her name, nearly taking that record, is Ginger from Chicken Run. Anyways, reviewing the summary, this is about an average length Hunger Game. No, a little longer than average length Hunger Games. District placements in 12th, 12, in 11th, 10, in 10th, 11, in 9th, 2, in 8th, 5, in 7th, 1, in 6th, 9. <laughs> nice. In 5th, 3, in 4th, 4, in 3rd, 8, in 2nd, seven, 6, and in 1st, 7. There you have it. That is going to conclude the Hunger Games simulator. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to cheat a bit. And next episode, we should be doing Mickey Mouse characters, which was suggested by Caillou Man. But that is next episode, and we're going to end this episode by saying what I usually do. I bid you all a good West positioning of the center, everybody. Take care. See you guys then.